So this was our very powerful admin panel, which powers our mobile app and our website. Next, we will move on to our mobile app. Let's get started. So starting with the Grub demo app on our iPhone, we also will open the Grub dispatch app for the agent parallelly on another phone. So in the app, you will see the hyperlocal options at the top where you will select your current location. You also have the options to search vendors, products and categories. Then we have all the top categories here and our top restaurants. And here are the banners that we added on the admin panel. Going through the account section, we have the user's basic info, ability to change password, add multiple addresses. We have the subscriptions as well. Uh, we have the loyalty. Each user is also given a wallet where they can add funds. And uh, we have the wish list as well. And links and sharing app URLs. Also in the settings, you will see the option to use the app in dark mode. So the app looks pretty fine in dark mode as well. For the demo, we will move back to light mode. You can also toggle the currencies and languages here. And we have the option for contact us support through Zendesk and uh, my stores, which are the stores which this user has been given access to as a vendor. So going back home, so we will start with Monroe's place. So in Monroe's place, we will try to place an order. So these are the tags that you see and we will place an order using let's say we will go with sweet potato pie and here are the add-on options with minimum and maximum one selection allowed only so we can add another value so going to the cart so here are the products two different potato pies with different add-ons you have the option to add on another tips and uh, you can select a payment method we will go with cash on delivery and we will place an order here so as you see So as you see this order, it is waiting to be accepted. And as we accept this order, the status will change. Now this order will be notified to the driver. So as we accept this order, so here are the different statuses. So the driver has to start to go to the vendor first. And the driver is now heading to the store as you can see. Now the driver is arriving at the store. And here you can see the driver has arrived. And these are the proofs that the driver has to submit. These are all dynamic from the dispatcher panel. We will walk through this next after the order placing. So now the driver has arrived at the vendor place and the, now the driver is waiting for your order. Meanwhile, the vendor marks this order as ready. And uh, now the driver will start again. Now the driver would be heading to user's location. Driver is heading to you. And now the driver is arriving. And the driver has arrived. Again, we have proofs which are dynamic. We will discuss this. And the order is now delivered. So going back to my orders, past orders, we have the ability to repeat this order and also the ability to rate and write a review as well. So that's the user app for you.